greetings to all the people of god who are watching this liturgical tv channel let us begin in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen my dear people of god this sunday 6th june the holy catholic church celebrates corpus christi feast of corpus christi corpus means body christi means of christ body and blood of christ it is said success consists of going from failure to failure without loss of faith success consists of going from failure to failure without loss of faith hence the purpose of corpus christi is to sanctify the people to sustain them in the grace of god and to give a psychological boost to be the children of god and the successful people in st luke chapter 24 it is reported about the emmaus event the two disciples of emmaus who left to jerusalem and traveling towards emmaus sunset at the breaking of bread the disciples eyes were open and they recognized the lord they realized it was same jesus who died on the cross they strongly felt the mighty and powerful presence of jesus christ at the breaking of bread he was drawing them into the experience of his death and resurrection broken bread made them to be united to the broken christ on the cross what is the significance of the bread or breaking of the bread st luke chapter 24 verse 30 presents four moments took blessed broke and gave jesus took bread blessed it broke it and gave it these four moments were demonstrated at the multiplication of loaves according to matthew chapter 14 verse 19 breaking of the bread signifies the death and resurrection of jesus christ today's gospel reading of st mark also reiterates these four moments it says and as they were eating jesus took the bread and blessed and broke it and gave it to them and said take this this is my body such a sequence of actions recalls the institution of the holy eucharist this is eucharistic body of christ corpus christi is eucharistic body of christ hebrews 10:10 10, 10 says 
we have been sanctified once for all through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ by the offering of the body of Christ we are sanctified again st paul says to the colossians chapter 1 verse 22 now you are reconciled in the body of his flesh through death through the death of jesus christ there is reconciliation and st peter also says first peter chapter 2 verse 24 he carried our sins in his body on the cross in order that we having died to sin might live for justice he carried all our sins on on the cross on a, with his body on the cross then eucharistic blood of jesus christ the first reading illustrates the ritual ceremony of ratification of the covenant between Abbe and Israel at Mount Sinai according to Exodus chapter 24 the ritual ceremony consists of four elements consent of Israel erection of an altar of 12 pillars of Israel reading of the covenant by moses and finally sprinkling of blood of animals on the altar on and on the people so first reading explains the meaning blood of the covenant importance of the blood of animals to ratify the old covenant covenant between mo between god and the people of yahweh israel under the leadership of moses in continuation of the first reading the second reading gives us according to hebrews presents highly esteemed the blood of jesus christ by his precious blood jesus entered the true sanctuary that is not of human making by offering his own blood jesus won one eternal redemption by his impeccable blood jesus christ spontaneously offered himself to purge away our sins and purify our conscience and render us worthy of worshiping our true god in the gospel of st john chapter 6 verse 37 in the context of the discourse on the living bread jesus asserts that all the father gives me will come to me and him who comes to me i will not cast out through the body and blood of christ people of god are drawn to the presence of christ and they will not be rejected in spite of human weaknesses and imperfections they will not be condemned they will not be denounced because of the holy eucharist our ground of hope is that god does not weary of mankind god is not vexed or fed up with humanity and with its sinfulness that is why he has given us body and blood of jesus christ Romans chapter 6 was 14 it is further substantiated St Paul says sin will have no dominion over you since you are not under the law but under the grace 
because of the body and blood of Christ, we are brought under grace. His death is the price of liberation from the judgment and guilt proved by sin. The body and blood of Christ are not two different entities, but the two component aspects of the Eucharistic sacrifice. The Eucharist is the worship of prayer par excellence, in which we thank and praise God for the life, death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. In fact, the very word Eucharist implies thanksgiving, the gratitude, a profound sentiment of gratitude. The Eucharist is a sacrament, it is a sacrifice and it is a banquet or the meal. St. Paul once again states in 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 26 For as often as you, you, you eat this bread and drink this cup you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Whenever we celebrate the Holy Mass, Holy Eucharist we proclaim the death of Christ. Death of Christ is a sacrifice of atonement, ransom and propitiation. The Holy Mass, the Lord's Supper is at, at once and inseparably the sacrifice in which the sacrifice of the cross is perpetuated, the memorial of the death and the resurrection of the Lord who said, do this in memory of me. The sacred banquet in which through the communion of the body and blood of the Lord the people of God share the benefits of the Paschal sacrifice. They renew the new covenant which was made once and for all by God in Christ's blood. In conclusion, I would like to reiterate what is said above. Every time when we participate in the Holy Mass, we not only worship Christ, but also imbibe the fruits of the sacrifice of body and blood of Jesus Christ. St. Paul says to the 1st Corinthians, Chapter 6, verse 11. But you are washed. You are sanctified. You are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and in the spirit of our God. Again, St. Paul says, the First Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 23. May the God of peace himself sanctify you entirely. And may your spirit and soul and body be kept sound and blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Holy Eucharist prepares us for the eschatological eternal life by comprehensively purifying and sanctifying our body, mind and soul, all the aspects of human nature, all the faculties of human mind, human nature, the entire personality of believers are sanctified by the power of the body and blood of Christ and made worthy of inheritance, the future inheritance, future life in heaven. May the Eucharistic Lord May the body and bread of Christ bless all of you, sanctify all of you, protect all of you from this pandemic. May all your houses be sprinkled with the precious blood of Jesus Christ so that 
you may be vaccinated by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. If you believe corona pandemic can have no impact in you if you believe in the holy blood of Jesus Christ. The power of the Holy Eucharist is so tremendous and marvelous. Believe in this and receive Holy Communion frequently to celebrate the power of death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. May God bless you all. Let us pray. God our Heavenly Father, we thank you, we praise you for Jesus Christ, your Son, who is born of the Virgin Mary at the Incarnation. We thank you for his Paschal mystery, passion, suffering, death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. We thank you for the Holy Eucharist which Jesus instituted on the eve of his death at the Last Supper. We thank you for the precious body and blood of Jesus Christ. Today as we celebrate Corpus Christi, we ask you Lord to bless all the people, all the believers, all those who are watching this program in this liturgy TV channel. Pour out your graces upon them. Pour out your blessings upon them. Pour out your Holy Spirit upon them. Anoint them and anoint their families. Every house has to be blessed and sprinkled with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, we surrender all the imperfections shortcomings of Jesus Christ. The precious blood of Jesus Christ cleanses even our conscience. There may not be any guilt conscience. So Lord, bless all these people. Pardon them, forgive them, purify them, sanctify them. Whatever may be their sins and offenses, whatever may be their failures, Forgive them, pardon them, purify their body, mind and soul with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. We also pray for all the people who are suffering from various disease, ailment and sickness. Grant them healing touch by the power of the Holy Eucharist, by the power of the precious body and blood of Jesus Christ. We pray especially for all those who are victims of COVID, all those who are passed away because of COVID, grant them eternal rest. We also pray for those who are currently suffering from COVID uh, pandemic, grant them healing touch by the precious body and blood of Jesus Christ. Bless all the people who are watching this program. Bless Vijay, who is in charge of this TV, liturgy TV channel. Bless all the people, Lord. We ask this in your precious name, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen.